said to me, uh, we were in a pub somewhere, and he said, uh, what, um, he said, what, do you, what would you do over again if you ever had a chance? And I, I, I said something meaningless, you know, and, uh, and he said, I would take more risk. <laughs> take more risk? And I want to continue taking risk, and he went on, and I'm sure he'll explain why. But uh, thank you very much, Ian Evans. So put your hands together. Fantastic to be here tonight. What a wonderful audience. It's too bad everyone couldn't get in tonight. Um, we will have time at the end for some questions and answers. I'm going to introduce the film now and tell you a little bit about why I did it and a little bit about the characters in the film. Uh, but before I do any of that, we also have door prizes as well, so hold on to those ticket stubs. Um, before I do any of that, I really want to say how wonderful it is to have Peter playing here. Um, Peter actually yeah, Peter actually stole one of the key jokes of the evening for me about us meeting online. Um, <laughs> it's not what you think, of course. <laughs> so, as far as the Nullarbor Desert goes, and you'll see this in the film, um, it stretches 1,200 kilometers across the south part of Australia. There is only one road. Uh, pretty much every day it looks like that, the road looks like that, you never see anything, you camp on the side of the road. And uh, I was resting up in Norseman and resupplying and stuff like that prior to heading out across the desert. So in today's technological age I thought, I'll just do some Google map directions of the drive, ride in my case, across the Nullarbor. So here's how the Google map directions go to go across the Nullarbor, okay? <laughs> Head north on Neville Parade, 76 meters. Turn right on Mines Road, 115 meters. First left on Battery Road, 700 meters. Turn right on the Air Highway. Continue 1,195 kilometers. <laughs> At the roundabout, take the second exit. <laughs> Now at that stage in the evening, would anyone like to ask a question? Right over there. What was the weight of all the gear on your bike generally? Okay, the question was, what was the weight of the gear? That's a good question. The bike, with all the gear on, all the water I had to carry was 140 pounds. And through the desert I had to carry 10 liters of water, which was about uh, 20 pounds or so extra weight. So, yeah, typically 140 pounds, 145 pounds. Yeah. So what do you think? No punctures, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> the point in time that you hit a wall where you thought maybe you weren't going to make it? Good question. Uh, the question is, did I ever hit a wall and did I ever think that I wouldn't make it? Um, certainly at points during that 1,600 kilo 1600 kilometer headwind, um, it, was, it was pretty tough. You had to dig pretty deep there because it just wore you out so much because you were constantly fighting it, you never had a free pedal stroke, and it really did feel like someone was pushing on your forehead. So they were tough times. Never did I ever think of giving up. 